Good luck trying to eat my brains. I can't even count to three. I, I stomp my hooves twice and just freeze up, you know? Processing power... Uh, processing power... Exceeded. That's the word. See, it, it was more than two syllables, so I had to think about it for a moment. Okay. Audio is looking decent, I think. Let's go ahead and get her started. Awe Amiki, my name is Fastest Marius Incatatus, the true console of Rome, the favorite horse of the God Emperor Caligula. Hope you are having a uh, fantastic week so far. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Well, Thursday for Yeenie, but, um, yeah. So, uh, my predictions came true. The, uh, the, the, the snowstorm is here. It is, uh, it is presently, uh, well, it's been raining all afternoon and it's turning into snow now as the, uh, as the, uh, temperature drops. So, uh, looking at perhaps a foot, looking at perhaps a foot of snow. So I am all, uh, I went and did my, uh, my very, very important, uh, shopping earlier today, um, uh, Secured everything I will need for uh, for Friday for the big birthday celebration. Um, it's cake time for me more important than the day of the week. You have cake, I, I, you know that's that's awesome. Sounds great, Yeni. I, I figured maybe you would lay off after after your terrible pie experience uh, a couple of days ago, but yeah, you keep pounding those confections. Good to see you, by the way. Fantastic to see you as well, Iggy. It's nice watching you both play some, uh, play some Dark Tide earlier today. Very cool. Very very cool. What kind of cake, Eni? Is, is uh, I, I'm I'm curious. What kind of cake are we talking? We talking vanilla? We talking chocolate? We talking uh, some horrific Scandinavian fish cake or something? That's my bet. That's my bet. Because she never does things normally, right? It's like uh, it's salmon cake with uh, with chopped liver. Gâteau Marcel. Okay, sounds real fancy. <clears throat> Anyways. So yes, the snow is coming down. The snow is coming down. I will be going nowhere for the next two days, probably. So, woohoo. <clears throat> Anyways. I think, uh, I think things sometimes, but, uh, you know, they often, uh, don't stay in my mind for too long. Right, I think it's about time to get started. Damn, that sounds good about now. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, cake does sound pretty good right now, actually. But, uh, yep, not too much to announce. I'll be taking tomorrow off, and then on Friday, the big birthday celebration. 1,900 and, oh god, 32 years old. Yeah. I can do math. I can do math. Wait, I have Trace Leches in my fridge. Lucky bastard. Yes, it does. It's good to see you, Buckethead. Let's go. Let's go indeed. Yeah, Trace Leches sounds amazing right now. Um, anyways, <laughs> yeah, birthday celebration's gonna be on Friday, hope you all can join me for that, I am going to be eating 100 Dino Nuggies and, uh, doing a few other things as well, but, um, yeah, the Nuggies, I suspect, are the main attraction, um, oh boy, yeah, they're, they're, they're in my freezer right now, they're, they're lurking, they're mocking me every time I open it and look at it. I actually ended up buying more than a hundred because it didn't, uh, you know, didn't divide evenly. So, yeah, I was carrying six pounds of Dino Nuggies through uh, through the store today. The look on the uh, clerk's face was interesting when I went to go buy them, because that was all I got. I got the Dino Nuggies and I got a Coke. Only six? Yes. Um, six pounds is a lot. Six pounds is a lot. That's, uh, that's about the limit of, uh, of what, uh, most humans can eat, you know, in one sitting. Unless you're, like, a pro eater, which I am not. That's, uh, six is about the limit. I'm not going to be eating six. Like I said, I, I bought more than I needed, but, uh, yeah. Alright. 
Let's uh, let's go ahead and get started on Project Zomboid here. Oh, very nice. Um, it's been a long time since I have played, so I think what I want to do is uh, play through the tutorial again real quick. And you know, this will give a uh, if uh, if people are uh, if people are not familiar with the game, this will give them a little taste of what it's about. So yeah, let's play the tutorial again real quick. These are the end times. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was no hope of survival. Sure, sure, sure. This is how you died. Uh-huh. Thanks, Obama. Okay. Welcome to Project Zomboid. Soon you'll die horribly, no one will mourn you, and you will be swiftly forgotten. Everything will have been for nothing, so let's make sure you go out fighting. Calculator tells me I bought eight. Wow. Yeenie, you're not eating a hundred with me, are you? First things first, you can zoom with your mouse wheel. Yep. Let's get a bird eye view of the lonely place where you will die horribly. Now zoom back in again. You're great at this. Let's have a look at your character information. Click the flashing heart over on the left. Let's do that. Here you see your health status, scratches, bites, bleeding, broken limbs, all listed for your convenience. It's also here that you can bandage and treat wounds. Nice. Do you know another good panel? Yes, the skills panel. Click on the skills tab, please. All right. Awesome. It really will be such a shame to lose you. This panel shows you, it shows your points in various different survival skills. Okay, we have a, a bunch of fitness and strength and nothing else. Gym rat. In-game activities build up skill points that you level up in each discipline. Learning speeds can be increased by reading books and watching certain TV shows. Ultimately, your brain will become cold, dead sludge, but in the meantime, why not learn carpentry? Time to take off those training wheels, lady. Close the character panel by clicking the cross, and we'll move on to the next exciting aspect of survivor life. Okay. It's looking at stuff. Woo! Hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse. You'll turn to face any angle. Holding left control and moving the mouse will do this too. Okay, so yeah. Right to turn. Plot twist! You can only see in the direction you're facing. Swift and unexpected death can come from behind, whether from the undead host or your fellow man. Let's get some blood pumping before it congeals and rots. Move around with Wazda. Why not walk into the adjacent room? It's definitely safe. Okay. See, told you it was safe. Now let's strafe. Holding the right mouse button will let you look around while walking. This will help you line up attacks and watch your back. Strafe further into the room by holding the right mouse button and moving using Wazda. That's what I was actually doing, so. Oh. Dead person alert! You're going to have to do some looting if you want to survive an attack. Head back to the marked counter in the kitchen and we'll learn to steal. Is it really stealing? Starvation can be delayed by looting food from the homes of the recently deceased. Move your mouse over the loot panel and expand it. Alright. A dead mouse! To pick it up, let's double click. Delicious. We should probably pick up that empty bottle too. Dying of thirst is horrid. It really is. See those moodles to the right? Looks like someone's got a rumbly tummy. Time to eat. Right click on the dead mouse in your inventory to see interaction options. Eat the dead mouse. Do I gotta? Mmm, delicious. That's better, apart from the nausea. To learn more about what each Moodle means, move your cursor over them. Queasy, take things easy, and peckish, could do with a little bite to eat. Okay. Oh hey, better fill up your bottle before the water supply is cut off. Right-clicking items in the world will bring up interaction options. Move next to the sink and right-click it to fill the bottle. Right. Fill empty bottle. Not promising, but I thought that was the idea. Um... I, I never asked her to do this. If Yini dies, it's not my fault. You can look at nearby containers by walking close to them with the loot panel open. Every container with an... Oh, well, it's near enough a weapon. A frying pan, nice. Right-click the frying plant pan and select Equip Primary so you can use it on all the dead folk you meet. Blunt objects are your friend. Oh my, is it getting hot in here? Let's pop up a win open a window and get some fresh air while your lungs are still inflated. Walk to the flashing window behind you. Aha. Uh -huh. A zombie in a hat. 
Let's get out there. Pressing E will interact with objects in front of you, most notably doors and windows. E to open the window. Okay. Let's go. Climb out the window and beat that corpse back to death. Hold E to climb through the window. Straight into it. She hasn't seen us. Holding the, right, my, my, uh, holding the right mouse button will ready your weapon for an attack. An isometric cursor is shown to help you gauge your angle of approach. Hold the right mouse button. Use Wazda. Move up to that fetid hat woman. Click the left mouse button to attack when ready. Not too bad. Take that, Mom! Could have also pressed space to shove her up. The isometric cursor shows your mouse's position in relation to the floor. Line yourself up using the right mouse button and use the circle at the bottom of the isometric cursor, cursor to target the head. Bash with left mouse button when you're in place. There we go. Wonderful. The frying pan broke. Your mother's skull was really thick. Let's borrow the hunting knife we planted in her back earlier. Loot and equip the hunting knife from your mother's body. Right-click the hunting knife in the loot panel to show equip options. What a cheerful, what a cheerful tutorial. Really starting off on the right foot, you know? Alright, you hear that? There's more. Move up the gate in the tall fence. Press E to open the gate, and click on it with the left mouse button when you're close. There we go. Vegetative Shambler in the Vegetable Garden. But he's got enough brain function to see ya. If you sneak, you'll make less noise and you'll be less visible. Press C to toggle crouch, and then move to sneak. Okay. Wow, it's like you're invisible. I mean, we've maxed out your skills here, but that is impressive. If you sneak close to a wall, fence, or vehicle, you'll crouch lower and reduce your visibility even more. Sneak around the corner to the low gate in the fence. Congrats on killing your mom, you're now ready for the apocalypse. Correct. Oops. So silent and so deadly, like a doomed ninja. Stay crouched and open the gate with E or click with the left mouse button when close. This is some special forces stuff right here. Strafe close behind him with the knife. Your arm will raise to show you're in place for a stealth attack. Strafe by holding... Yeah, 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 I know how to strafe. Thank you. There we go. You did it! No more daddy issues. Yeah, real question if mom got a knife in the back before or after she turned. That is the real question. Then take his bag and put it on. Alright. Equip on back. Very nice. You've wanted this large back backpack for years and now it's yours. Let's see what's inside. Yeah, flashing large backpack and... Click on it. Oh, I see. A bandage and a JS-2000 shotgun. A loaded shotgun and some bandages. We always do our best for you. Equip it in both hands. See? <laughs> the window in Dad's shed just broke right on time. Vault the fence and let's check it out. Running out the fence will make you jump over it automatically, using left chip and Wazda to uh, jump over the fence. Oh ha Dad was a prepper, but he didn't prepare for you, did he? Let's take his gear. Ignore the glass shards. Climb through the broken window by standing next to it and holding E. Uh-huh. Oh no, your hands are bleeding. The broken glass in the window shredded them. Who saw that coming? Open the health panel by pressing H or clicking the heart icon. Left hand scratched and bleeding. Bandages from the backpack will help. Right click the red text that was reporting the hurty left hand and apply a bandage. Oh no, my left hand hurty. Let's check outside in case there's more moldering flesh automatons. Move to the curtained window. Um... Some prepper you are. There's nothing in here. Fine. Curtains stop you seeing out, but they also stop the horde seeing in. Open the curtain, it's probably safe. Two of them! Three if you cut your sister on the floor there. Better get some improved protection from their nails and teeth. Okay. Strong panic. Accuracy severely reduced. Thicker clothing and headwear helps protect from bites and scratches. Put on what you think is best for a final encounter. Once you're ready, head through the door. Ah. Oh, hey, very nice. Um, what do we think? How about some, uh, how about some, uh, 
Yeah, how about some camo pants? We'll put on some military boots. A leather jacket. Looking real, real cool. Oh, yeah. How about a baseball cap? V uh, visor backward or forward? What? what? You know what? This is the apocalypse. We can uh, we can buck uh, we can buck uh, tradition a little bit. Put on the visor backwards, you uh, you you rebel. All right. Once you're ready, head through the door. Remember that you can sneak to make less noise. Press C to crouch and move up to the wired fence. Uh huh. If you have high enough skills and aren't exhausted, then tall fences can be climbed. You have those skills. Press E to climb over the wire fence. Not even the, in the apocalypse will you wear your cap to the side. Well, yeah, obviously. So athletic. Time to make some noise. Ready the shotgun. Aim at the rotting dead men. They're all dead. So sad. Never mind. Soon you'll all be back together. Every zombie in the forest heard the shotgun and they're coming for you. Press E to climb back over the wire fence and escape. There still has to be some sort of order to things, right? Yeah. They're getting close. You know how to run, but here's how to sprint. Sprint to the marker by the outhouse. Uh, move l left alt to sprint. Gotcha. Last device. If you ever get a zombie bite or fear one is imminent, then press Q and you'll swallow the antidote. Press Q to take the antidote. Only kidding. All hope is gone. There is no antidote. Have fun. Some absolute madman, like, uh, survived this for a really long time. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Ouch. For her further help in the main game, press F1 to open the survival gate. Return to the menu uh, menu and then survive the Nox event for real. Wonderful. So that's the tutorial. All right. Well, let's make a uh, let's make a character now that will surely do uh, far better than that. So there's different play styles. Uh, Apocalypse is the uh, standard. Stealth focus, short lifespan, combat best avoided. Survivor, powerful combat, longer lifespan. Challenging play style based on Project Zombies, uh, Zomboid's previous survival mode. Builder, construction, exploration, and farming focus, more relaxed experience, or custom sandbox. Uh, we'll go with Apocalypse. Uh, the challenges, some of these challenges are crazy. You get out of the shower and fall badly. A really shitty day. You're blind drunk and you have a nasty cold. On top of all this, the house is on fire. Today is definitely not your day. <laughs> Challenge inspired by a really bad day from the awesome, wonderful, and must play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Ah, uh, okay, CDDA, gotcha. A storm is coming. Clouds are gathering over Kentucky. The crackle of thunder can be heard in the distance. As skies darken, the dead that stumble over the earth grow restless. This is a storm that will grow and fall back in its ferocity, but it will never end. You hear them approaching. Hordes of deadheads encroaching on your isolated cabin from every angle. Death is inevitable, but a shotgun is close at hand. Last Stand features endless waves of zombies in ever-increasing numbers. Survive for as long as possible against overwhelming odds. A Stand Accumulator features endless waves of zombies in ever-increasing numbers. Use money earned by killing zeds to buy equipment, level up, and repair your blood soaked weaponry. Okay. So it's sort of like uh, Call of Duty zombies, almost. Kingsmouth. Enjoy a relaxing stay on Kingsmouth Island. Studio. Where all the best movies are filmed. Hey. The Descending Fog. People first saw it on the water, a faint white blanket over the Ohio River. It began as a mist, then it enveloped the town. The townsfolk died screaming in the gloom. Now they walk out there. Unseen, unheard, and relentless in pursuit of the living. Neat. It's mid-July, but suddenly there's a chill on the breeze. In a mere three days' time, a winter will set in like no other before it. You awake in an isolated location, you have meager supplies, and the undead hordes might be slowed by the intense cold, but they are no less deadly. Wrap up warm, survivor. You have one day. Uh-huh. One day of relative safety, zombies will arrive in huge numbers and they will find you. Where did you make your last stand again? Where did you make your last stand in the old days? Better find it quick. Nice. Uh, yeah, we will, uh... We will just play normal apocalypse. And yeah, in case you're wondering, I'm not using any mods. This is, uh, completely vanilla. For now. Okay. So, you have a few different choices for where you want to spawn. 
Uh, Muldra is a small town in an area the locals know as Knox Country, the dead center of the state of Kentucky. It grew as an army town, but now welcomes folks from all walks of life. Some commuters to the bigger towns nearby, some military families, and some living below the poverty line. It's a small place filled with good people, not to mention Spiffo's finest chicken and biscuits this side of Kentucky. Sure, not much happens here, but that doesn't mean Muldra life is dull. Do Riverside, colorful town tightly hugging the banks of the mighty Ohio. Exploring Riverside is a rich and diverse experience. To the west, you'll find the older parts of town, while out east is where our wealthier residents work, rest, and play. In fact, if you're considering a stay with us, why not check out the nearby Knox Heights Country Club, the ultimate in comfort and relaxation. Members have access to an 18-hole golf course, tennis courts, swimming pool, and spa. Come join today. I want to. Uh, I want to hijack the, uh, the the golf course's lawnmower and just run over zombies with that. I think that would be fun. We have Rosewood. Short stay is Rosewood. In Rosewood is pleasant, but a long stay, well, the inmates, inmates of the famous Knox Penitentiary will tell you that's not so fun. Ideally situated geographically for ease of access, Rosewood is a community hub for administration and community services, as well as a leading incarceration center. The county courthouse, a recently refurbished fire department, and a lively law enforcement facility make this one of the most important towns in the area. Come visit today. We have West Point. Whether you're strolling through the town square, chowing on one of our pies, or just chatting with friendly locals, West Point is the true small town USA. Don't let sleepy streets, affordable housing, and acres of rolling farmland fool you. This is the Knox County Administrative Hub. If our mayor isn't busy rubber stamping public ordinances in the town hall, you might just find him in the famous Twiggy's Bar. No matter how long your stay, a West Point welcome is guaranteed. Um, I forget which one you're supposed to, which one's the easiest. I think Riverside is not too bad. We'll, uh, we'll go with Riverside. And now we get to uh, now we get to make our uh, make our, our our character. So I uh, oh, I'm kind of in the way here, but yeah, you have eight points to spend. Um, so yeah, major skills, fitness, and strength, and then you have a lot of traits, a lot, a lot of traits. Um, unemployed, eight free trait points. Fire officer, plus one axe, plus one fitness, one sprinting, one strength. That's a pretty decent one. Um, police officer, three aiming, one nimble, two reloading. Park ranger, allows much faster movement through forests and woodland, plus one axe, plus one carpentry, two foraging, two trapping. That one might be pretty decent. Might be pretty decent. Construction worker, has one carpentry and three short blunt. So if you get a hammer, you can uh, go to town with that. Light-footed sprinting and night owl, which uh, requires little sleep, stays extra alert even when sleeping. Uh -huh. It's it's the Yini trait. Carpenter, three carpentry, one short blunt. Burglar, can hotwire vehicles less chance of breaking the lock of a window. Light-footed, nimble, sneaking. And burglar is, yeah, okay, gotcha. Chef, no cooking. Maintenance, short blade, pretty nice, pretty nice. Farmer is just pure farming. Fisherman is fishing and foraging. Doctor has some first aid and short blade. Veteran, two aiming, two reloading. Desensitized, does not reach states of panic. Dehumanize yourself and face to bloodshed. Mm. Nurse, two first aid, light footed. Lumberjack, slightly, movement, slightly faster movement through forest and woodland. Two axe, one strength, and an axe man. Faster axe swinging, better at chopping trees. You know what? I kind of like that one. Fitness instructor, you're a nutritionist. Can see the nutritional values of any food. Hey, hey. Got more fitness. A little less strength. Some sprinting, too. Burger flipper. Two cooking, one maintenance, one short blade, and cook. You know how to cook. Electrician. Can operate generators, plus three electrical. That's a pretty good one, actually. Engineer can make traps and explosives. Metal worker can weld forged metal to create items and barricades. Or a mechanic. Three mechanics, one short blunt. Amateur mechanic. I mean, if that's your job, are you really an amateur? Familiar with the maintenance and repair of all vehicle models on the roads of Kentucky. You know what? I kind of like lumberjack. I'm a lumberjack, and that's okay. All right. Okay, we will go with uh, Inky. Fast, wonderful. Uh, probably a little paler. I never get out. Yeah. Oh yeah, lots of chest hair. Hair type grungy behind ears. Ooh, Fabian. Let's see. Let's see. 
Ooh, I like the flat top. Grease back. Oh yeah. We'll uh, we'll slick the hair back to get real motivated. Beard type. Facial hairs for barbarians. Um, a bucket hat. Hey, how about that? That that is a that is a hat. Uh, oh, we also have uh, the option for a fedora. Wonderful. Get a beanie. A visor, absolutely. Um, tartan golf cap. I like it. Um, obviously, obviously, you need a bucket hat for surviving the uh, zombie apocalypse. We'll make it. Uh, we'll make it black. Glasses. A uh, shirt. How about a Hawaiian shirt? I like it. T-shirt, McCoy's t-shirt, absolutely. Baggy ass jeans, of course. Long socks and sneakers, yeah. I like it. I like it. This is our life now. These are the end times. Right, so we heard, so we heard. <clears throat> so, uh... In this game, it's very important that you don't get hit. Um, you don't get scratched, you don't get bit, you don't get anything. Because uh, pretty much anything can turn you into a zombie. You do not need to be bit clean to, uh, to be a zombie. Uh, the zombies can scratch you. They can turn you into a zombie. Um, yeah. Lots of, uh, lots of fantastic ways to die. Okay, so we are in like what appears to be a trailer park here. Alright. Uh, yeah. Pancake mix, a bread knife, dish towel. Dish towel's worth taking. Uh, none of this stuff's worth taking. Let's see, what else we got? We will, um, really need to find an axe eventually. Wooden cutting board. Um, let's see. Uh, frying pan's a little, uh, frying pan's a little, uh, less heavy, so we will uh, probably pick that up. Empty kettle can be nice. Same as any other infection, if they draw blood, you in deep doo-doo. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, Eni. Well, there's ketchup. Yes, absolutely. Packaged corn in the freezer. We will go for that. Most definitely. One dried kidney beans and pasta. Okay. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is probably not the best place for uh, a last stand against the zombie hordes. So, probably just going to, uh, yeah, loot all of the food out of here. Oh, yeah. Appears to be a zombie trying to get into, uh, trying to get into the other house. Um. Okay, I do have a bathroom here. What's in the bathroom? Beta blockers, bottle of disinfectant, first aid kit, hairspray, and a mirror. All good to have, I think. Fuck me, okay, yep. I am, I am slightly startled. I am panicking a bit. Alright. You know what? You startle the horse, you pay the price. Oh, fuck. There we go. So, one of the tricks with this game is if you're standing over them... Boxers, he's got a pen and he had a t-shirt. We will we will uh, grab these. We will grab the t-shirt at least. I don't know if the boxers would be useful. Alright. So let's try and sneak. Anything in the trash can? Cockroach, dead rat, and a garbage bag. Garbage bags are great to have. You can carry things around in them. Double tap. Correct. Yeah, so uh, one of the nice things is if you're standing over, only if you soil yourself. Yep. If you're standing over the zombie, they can't get back up. You're free to wail on them as much as you would like. So, uh... Oh, this is a bad... This is a bad spawn. The trailer park is a is a bad place to be. It's almost almost like real life. Um, and actually, I'm over-encumbered a little bit. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, let's, let's close that. Square up. Yeah. 
Alright. I probably should have figured out a secondary weapon of some sort. Oh, he has animal print underpants. Bras. Uh, denim shorts. A red digital watch. Uh, that's, that's good to have. A watch. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, really... Oh, well, I mean, we are a lumberjack, so uh, I think, honestly, I should have picked that up at the start. Trailer park is a bad place to be at all times. Correct. Correct. Absolutely correct. Okay. So, yes. Let's get out of the trailer park. Fairly heavy load, carrying a little too much. Yeah. Um, we will... Why don't we, uh, why don't we eat the corn right now? Feeling a little, uh, feeling a little hungry after that. Whoops. Getting bored. Occupy yourself or seek entertainment. Feeling a little sad. Alright, um, this is probably not the way to go. Bunch of zombos. Um, well, you know what? There's zombies everywhere. So ideally we would loot, uh, the rest of, uh... Huh. Ideally, we would loot the rest of uh, the trailer park, but uh, I don't know about that. How's our uh, how's our uh, frying pan holding up? Yeah, it's in pretty good condition. Mmm, uncooked frozen corn. Food of the gods. Food of the gods. Oh. I think... I thought I saw someone in there. Uh-huh. Locked up tight. Looting is your friend. It really is. Um, what a... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is a problem. This is a problem. Yeah, this is a problem. Okay. This is a problem. Running is a total noob move. Running is a total noob move. We're going to do it anyways. Okay, so that one sees me. Da, da, da. Eventually you get tired. And then the bad things start happening to you. Oh god. I'm over encumbered. Uh, I should have dealt with that before I started running from the zombies. Um, okay, we will, uh, how are we looking here? Is it just the one on me? Did I lose the others? I might have lost the others. Maybe you don't need a mirror on your person. No, I need to look fantastic at all times. This is the apocalypse, we still gotta have some standards, you know? Alright, what we got? Um, oh, shit. The loot! Oh no, the loot! Uh, how do I bring that back? There it is. Right, I think. Um, she didn't have anything amazing on her. Alright. Oh, here they come. Uh, I forget how you collapse this. No. How do I collapse the loot panel? Oh, you just click. Okay. Alright. How are we looking? Yeah, it's this bastard. We. Okay, we peeled a couple of those off. If I can find, like, a fence or something I can vault over, I might be sort of safe. Oh, God. They're in the forest. Okay. I think maybe if I, like, move... Oh, uh, yeah. I'll drop the mirror. Encumbrance reduction 10. Okay. 
Um, why don't I start putting things into the garbage bag? We're gonna have a, uh, we're gonna have our, all the food in the garbage bag, I think is what, how we're gonna handle this. Doing this on the run, yeah. Um, uh, might be able to, yeah, we'll, we'll just take you. There we go, very nice. Oh yeah, and you can spam space to just, uh, stomp him. Alright, he didn't have, uh, doesn't have anything amazing. Okay. Forest is a big risk. Forest is a uh, forest is a big risk. Um, Cause the zombies can't see you. You also can't see the zombies. Um, I don't know if I can take on three of them at the same time though. So I think we are uh, we're gonna take the risk. Spam me. That won't do any good. <laughs> Not the space lord, the space bar. When fighting Z is pushing as your friend, indeed. But I'm gonna use my lumberjack skills, I'm gonna move through the forest. Swiftly. Alright. Oh, I see one over there. Uh, what I'm kind of curious is about, do I have a map yet? Um, Alright. You're lumbering through the forest with your jacked stuff, correct. Watch where you step, I've heard what bears do there. Uh-huh. Well, we're gonna become zombie shit if we're not careful, so... Really? Baggy jeans, long stops, tank top, sneakers, nah. Nothing exciting. Oh, but there's another one coming at me. I see you. I perceive you. I should probably zoom in a little bit. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Imagine fighting a zombear. I would rather not. Okay. Nothing cool on her. So if night falls in the forest, uh, probably not a very good thing. Uh, so we probably need to find our way back. Um... I can't imagine. Oh, I hear one of them. They're not all pursuing me, are they? Surely they're not all still pursuing me. Oh, there you are. Nice dress. Wish you had scissors. Pink frilly underpants. We will uh, take those for reasons. Slightly thirsty. I, I did not grab anything to drink. <laughs> Brain zombie. Yeah. Yep. Alright. So I'm... Do I have a map? I do have a map. But I don't really... Uh-huh. Uh, uh -huh. You got attacked and didn't even notice. What do you mean? Slightly thirsty, I mean you did just grab frilly pink underwear. You know, point taken. Uh, a gold ring, a small bandeau. Bloody hoodie. Um... The jacket might be worth taking. I see, I see that tree moving. Where are you?
All right. Um, God, how long could this forest possibly go on for, you think? Looks like... Yeah, it looks like if I keep heading this way, maybe I'll hit a road. Alright. Oh, there you are. Yeah. That's how we do it. Uh, classic wrist ritual, uh, wristwatch with brown strap. Okay. Um, so uh, what I need to do is I need to start transferring... Uh, yeah. I need to start transferring my food into the garbage bag. Whoa, whoa, no, no, no. Wooden container, no. Whoa, 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 no. Can I, like... Open the container. Stop having it be closed. There we go. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, that works. Alright, yeah, we're gonna put all of the food into the garbage bag here. How'd you like Mass Effect 2? Everyone make it out at the end? Everyone made it out at the end. I was absolutely shocked uh, that I pulled that off, but yep. We'll probably put the empty kettle in there, too. Um, yeah, I was absolutely shocked, but everyone did, in fact, make it out at the end. And then, uh... Oh, you know what? I needed scissors or a knife or something. So yeah, I think, probably can't rip the jacket. I think I will actually put the uh, jacket on, because it's a little more, uh, it's a little more protection. We're good. How'd you like ME2? ME2 was amazing. I, at the end, I kind of said, I, I sort of regret not playing this sooner. You know, that, that, that was my big thought, like, immediately upon ending it, because uh, that was, uh, you lock in tally? Oh yeah, I lock, you know I locked in tally. What kind of a question even is that? Oh god, this is the road? This is like a path. Oh fuck. Come here. Come on. Ah, oh, tough old Betty. All right. Nothing I need. Really kind of hoping someone has an axe. Or I can find a hardware store or something. Yeah, Mass Effect 2 was amazing. Um... I was kind of saying at the end, I, I, I'm beginning to understand the outcry around Mass Effect 3, right? Because the story, just how much went into it, the people who lived, the people who died, all the decisions you made, it all comes down to blue, green, or red. But, uh, still going to play Mass Effect 3. Gonna, gonna check it out. But yeah, I kind of understand the outcry a little bit. Okay. Um, just assuming this path leads somewhere. I mean, there's a bunch of zombies around, so we can't be too far from civilization, right? Alright. A little hungry, a little sad, a little thirsty. Oh, 
there's a car. Dismantle car wreck. Ve vehicle mechanics. Okay, C can this thing still run? Oh boy. I, I, I see that zombie coming at me. Okay. Yep. Oh, you move. You move kind of fast. The initial story was based off the rescue tally mission where she talks about dark matter and the rapid aging of the star. I was kind of wondering if they were going to do anything with that. Because, yeah, that was uh, something I had not seen before. Alright. What a... Alright, what are we looking at? Is it drivable? <laughs> Engine condition 0%. Yeah. Okay, so yes. Not, uh, not drivable. Uh, not drivable in any... Uh... In any sense of the word. Come to learn that the Reaper's coal spacefaring civilization so as not to stretch the progression further, like restoring the ozone layer, but with the universe. Ah, uh, wonderful environmentalists the Reapers are. What a freak, she had a nose stud. Zombies look better in a v-neck sweater. Oh, interesting. A corpse that didn't reanimate. Or maybe it's just a, a corpse that's about to reanimate. Let's find out, shall we? Yeah, interesting. Or maybe it's just a zombie that someone else killed. Just wait till ME3 where you investigate their origin. Fair enough. Hey kid, wanna see a dead body? I've, I've seen my share for today, honestly. Alright, we really need to be out of this forest before uh, darkness falls. We needs it. anything too good. Is there a time limit to save crew in Mass Effect 2? It's not an actual time limit. You can sit around on your ship and do nothing for hours. The more of your crew is taken, it's more icy. Yeah, I was a little bummed out that we lost chambers. I was told that uh, you do three or more missions and bad things happen, but um, yeah, I only did one and I still lost chambers. I guess you need to go right away to save chambers. More of a mission limit. If you don't go directly through the Omega-4 relay, your crew will start dying. Yeah, it makes sense. Slight panic. Keep calm. Do not panic. Alright, there you are. Bonk. Alright. You know what? I think it's time for a break. Um, yeah. Millions of peaches. Peaches for me. Um, oh fuck, I don't have a can opener. Um, they're, they're all, they're all fucking can. Well, maybe not the kidney beans. All right, we might have to eat all the, we might have to eat the kidney beans. That's not going to help with my thirst any. Dr. Chakwas and the engineers are safe. One of the engineers is safe. The other engineer did not make it. It was the saddest thing ever. Hold the bursting, dying of thirst, and desperate for water. Oh. Oh, thank God. Okay. There's a there's a house, maybe. Oh, I'm actually, I'm actually, like, dying of thirst. Okay. 
Okay, there's trimmed hedges. All cans and no canners. Openers, you're in the I have no mouth and I must scream, yeah. Oh, uh, okay, maybe there's... Okay, okay. Is this like a school? Uh, we're gonna have to take our chances with this. I need, I need, might have to settle for pond water. Yeah, I need to drink something. All right, can we peek in? Don't see any zombos. Please, no alarms. Okay. Drink. Okay. Stuffed, depressed, ravaged by morning and desperation. Eh, get over it. Alright, this is a... This is kind of a nice little house, actually. Alright, close curtains. They died? Restart the run, we need to save everyone, right? Yeah, the female engineer died. It was, it was extremely sad hearing the male engineer talking. Alright, uh, close the window. Alright, so... This house might actually serve for a base. Um, well, gotta clear it first. But uh, yeah, most of the uh, most of the uh, when windows have curtains, which is fantastic. Like uh, you don't want the zombies to see you while you're uh, in your house. There's bed. Gorilla flip flops, long sneaker, wonderful. All right, I think we're gonna we're gonna move on in here. So we will uh, put that in the container. We will uh, yeah we'll we'll hold on to those. Why not? T-shirt, put it in the cabinet. Oh, I did have a ketchup. I did have ketchup. That that, uh, that is something I could have uh, eaten if I needed to. All right. Um. All right, yeah, let's zoom in a little bit. There's the fridge. Oh, a fresh jalapeno. Alright. Sardines, ketchup probably need to go into the fridge. Then we'll just store all of the uh, the rest of the food in this, uh, this cabinet here. This cabinet, yeah. And yeah, probably put the kettle in there. Kettle will be nice. Could boil some uh, pond water if I have to. All right, canned peaches go in the cupboard. All right, and we even have th this pot is actually very nice. Cooking pot with water. Uh, might set that outside to collect rainwater. Honestly, got some cereal, got some fruit jam, granola bar, sugar, some great stuff. Some great, great stuff. Check out the kids' room. Oh, a crossword magazine. That is something I can actually, uh, that's something I can do. Probably something I should do right about now. Alright, yeah. Close the curtains. Um, are there... I need a few more curtains, actually. I need to cover up these doors. By the way, how you like spreading democracy? Very cool. Very cool. I haven't uh, haven't gotten a chance to play in a, in a couple of days, but uh, I am enjoying spreading democracy. Absolutely. An umbrella that might be a uh, might be useful. Okay. Yeah. What's in the uh, medicine cabinet? Antidepressants. Oh, a lot of disinfectant. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. I need like a knife or something. Got ripped sheets. Can be used as a, actually I'll keep uh, the ripped sheets with me. Capes are a bit much. Eh, the capes are uh, are wonderful. Capes are just for flavor. What delicious flavor it is. All right. Um. Yeah. So no. Uh. So I need to come up with three curtains. So I'll probably need to. 
Your heroes to the little patriots at home, correct. Alright. Let's check out the shed here, see what we've got. Oh, a generator. This is a pretty good, uh, this is a pretty good house, actually. A screwdriver, yeah, definitely. I think I can attach that to my belt. Yeah, belt left. I'm looking like a handyman. Master Chief never wore a cape. He would, if he could. Oh, got a metal pipe? Yeah, that's probably better than my, uh... That's probably... Oh, and a propane torch. This is a really good house. Propane torches are kind of hard to find. Got a generator. Uh, yeah, I think I'll probably... Probably equip that metal pipe as my primary. Yeah. Different universe. I think there's... I think I don't need to be carrying my garbage bag around. Yeah, I'm equipped. Whoops. Alright, let me, uh... Let me go in here. I'm gonna turn on the TV. So this will hopefully make me a little less depressed. I'm also going to do the crossword puzzle. Oh, there's beer, too. That will probably make me less depressed. Someone doesn't remember the Halo 5 trailer, though. Maybe that was more of a cloak. Uh, I, yeah, I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember either way, but... Uh, Kind of sounds like Bill Clinton is on the uh, TV, which makes sense. This takes place during the Clinton administration. All right. Go do your crossword puzzle. Feeling a little better? Nope, still depressed. How about alcohol? Would alcohol help? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep, alcohol helped. It's getting a tad weepy, but, uh, you know. Gnawing hunger entirely absent. Alcohol helped. Alright. Actually, you know what? Good to turn off the TV. Alright. I don't like taking the risk of sleeping while I don't totally know my surroundings, but, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll sleep. I, uh, I asked you to sleep. Yes, I'm sure I want to sleep. Hopefully we at least, like, hear if, uh, the zombies are busting in. Give us a little warning. Huh? No zombies so far. Is there a zombie on my lawn, though, I wonder? I don't see one. Okay. Um, I really like this, uh, I really like this house as a base. So, we are going to... I need to, need to come up with a can opener of some sort. Unless, maybe there's one that I've just missed. Boolean cube. Going to take the uh, gonna take the jam. That will be my uh, lunch today. Gonna head out. We've gotta we gotta explore the area before I really know if this is a, a safe place to be. But I like the house so far. Also would be good to loot uh, someone else's house and get a few curtains for uh, for the few windows in that house that don't have curtains on them. Okay. Um, 
Looks like maybe not too much back this way, huh? Path sort of turns into a dirt path. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find much this direction. You know what? I feel like I've already greatly exceeded expectations by not dying on the first day. So, there is that. There is definitely that. Chilly. Feels a bit nipply around here. I'm wearing a jacket. Sun's about to come up. It's good we don't remember Halo 5. See, I need to get three curtains total if I can. Well. Alright, we got a few friends. Nice. If you can just attract them one at a time, they usually ain't that bad. Usually ain't that bad. Ouch, that's not good. We had earbuds. Interesting. Uh, did I get bit? I did not get bit. Alright. Um, so, yeah. We can just uh, rip all of the clothing that he's carrying. You want to do this because you can get a... Uh, you can get a... Uh, you can use ripped clothing as uh, makeshift bandages pretty much. Since they fumbled every time, yeah. So yeah, ideally what I would like to do is find like a hardware store or something and put my axe skills to use. Oh, excuse me. Not the sneakiest fellow. Good there. <laughs> Holy fuck, bean dip. <laughs> sneak up on this one? Nope. Well, he looks like he has, like, a knife stuck in his back or something. What'd you have? Oh, you have a fork stuck in your back. Okay. Do you know who's in Halo 5? Master Chief? So that house is a really good home base, but if it's this far from anything else, it might not be amazing unless I can get a working car. Ah, uh, the, uh, the classic American over-reliance on cars. Coming back to bite me, perhaps literally. But yeah, I mean, the house is nice. Yes, and he could save the story. Mm-hmm. Actually, haven't played Halo in a long time, so I'm not uh, not quite sure what uh, you guys are referring to, but sounds interesting. Uh, yeah. So that, that field's obviously been mowed. And really out there. <laughs> you 
Even better, Nathan Fillion. Oh. Seriously? All right. I mean, that house is really, really nice. Um, you probably won't get hassle hassled by too many zombies out there. But, uh, it's just... Okay. Stealth mode engaged. Uh-huh. Because I have to get it now. Okay. There we go. The nearest house. That's quite a walk to the nearest house. Sometimes it's nice being that far removed from the neighbors. Other times, not so much. All right, we're going to see if we can sneak our way in. Oh, fuck me. Nathan Fillion couldn't save that trashy fan fiction. My goodness. Okay, so yes, all the all the zombies are now converging on that house. Because they dared to have a uh, burglar alarm. I think eventually it will stop. We could at least see what they have in the shed, maybe. Yeah, it stopped. Unfortunately, the zombies are all still hanging around. Uh... Yeah, yeah, no, this is... This is tempting fate. We're gonna... We're gonna just kinda work our way around this house, give it a wide berth. Hopefully the zombies get bored and kind of fuck off. Uh, this one's seen me. Alright. Okay. Come on. Oh god. coming. Plus one light-footed. I know how to move it, move it. Come on. Fuck, that's too many. Fuck off, Denise. Alright. Um, picked up several more. Okay. Okay. Uh, this, this is... Uh, no me gusta. Oh yeah, because I'm being real sneaky. Alright. Time to go. How many we got? Four? Huh. Now if I can keep them separated, if I can if I can get them one uh one one after one one after another. That's the word. That's the word. I think I have a chance here. I'm in with a chance. Okay. Let's make sure I'm not backing into bad shit here. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, 
That's bad. That's really bad. That's one down. Oh, fuck. I think I got bit. Slight damage. Oh, fuck. Gunshot. Okay, that might, uh... Yeah, it looked like a bite. Um... Nothing is, uh, damaged, though, so I don't think the... I don't think I, uh, I actually got bit. Somehow. Somehow. I think I might have avoided. For now, at least. Alright, okay. I see you. Oh. One of them knocked my hat off. I forget where I lost... Not sure where I lost that. Do you have a Santa hat? No. Okay, there's another horde over there. Good news is I think I've killed a lot of the ones that were around that house, so, um... Might be able to loot it. How's my... How's my, uh... How's my metal pipe holding up, actually? Yeah, it's in okay, okay condition. Not gonna break imminently. Man, I am not sneaky enough to pull off the stealth kills yet. But you, there. Okay, another one coming. Okay. Not one of these has a decent weapon on them. Okay. Okay. Come one, come all. Come and get your ass kicked here. Oh, man. Oh, no! Okay. That is definitely a bite. Anytime you want to die, that would be awesome. Bidden, yep. So, probably fucked. Probably fucked? Actually, no. That's, yeah, oh, wonderful, wonderful. So now it's infected. I forget if uh, Bite is 100% infection. I forget what the uh, default is, but we might be fucked here. We are probably fucked here. Okay, now we're now we're really fucked. Why didn't you target her? Excuse me, why didn't you target her? Uh, yep, critical damage. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty critical damage. Can't target other zombies. Yeah, I should have just... I should have ran the hell away from this house when the alarm went off. Nice strategy there. Alright. Nothing useful on any of these. Uh -oh. 
Uh oh. <laughs> I am. Yeah, I'm. I'm bowed. But you know what? Killing as many of you as I can. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that's probably gonna do it. Yeah, that's probably gonna do it. Yeah. You killed 49 zombies. Not too bad. Not too bad. Alright. Lumberjack didn't really come in too handy, unfortunately. Alright. We'll, uh, we'll stay in Riverside, though. I kind of like Riverside. Um... You know what? Since we're using short blunt weapons so often, why not run, why not run construction worker? Oh, you have to take. Uh, I have minus two points to spend, so uh, makes more noise. Especially prone to becoming panicked. Uh, smaller view distance, lower visibility fade. Takes longer to read books. Eh. You will now only find axes. Correct. Uh, let's go with Sleepyhead, and then we can get a uh, we can get another uh, another buff here. Cat size, outdoorsman, fast reader, dexterous, eh, drives very fast. Uh, better vision at night, you know, might be uh, might be. I'm 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 sleepy at night, but I have good vision. All right, let's uh. Random you up. Vaughn Anders, I like you. You look like Red Foreman. Yes, you are correct. I will, I will now only find axe. Oh, God, I start at the bar. Well, this is going to be an interesting one. All right. Oh, uh. I'll use the pool cue for the time being, I guess. Uh, duct tape, padlock, a pipe wrench! That's a good one. And uh, I don't imagine I'll be uh, needing the pool cue. Yeah, pipe wrench is a fantastic uh, weapon. As uh, as anyone who's like actually held a, uh, held a pipe wrench could probably tell you. You hit something with it, they're not going to like it. Uh, duct tape used an improvised firearm and melee weapon repairs. Uh huh. Probably worth, uh, probably worth picking up the, uh, the duct tape. Slow and clumsy, yep. True, true. Nothing in the crappers. What do we got here? We got some dirty rags. We have some ripped sheets. We'll grab all of those. Um, yeah, and the dirty rags are fine, in fact. Right, bleach, broom, cleaning liquid, empty bucket, sponge. Empty bucket might be good. And yeah, we'll clean all of the dirty rags so I can, uh, put them on my wounds and not get immediately infected. in the uh, in the garbage bag it's on the floor here actually oh more duct tape okay um would bleach be worthwhile actually <laughs> I guess bleach uh bleach might be a quick way to end it if things go poorly thirst unhappiness plus 99 it does it does quench your thirst it does quench your thirst we will uh we will grab a we will grab a thing of bleach. Why not? Alright, 
Uh, cigarettes. A lighter would be helpful. Peanuts. Your bottle. Hmm. I cannot face this sober. <laughs> oh, we got some bourbon. The bourbon might actually be useful uh, for disinfecting. Fridge has just more beer. What a place to start. What a place to start here in the bar. Um, don't loot all of this. 20 cigarettes. Up. Some chips. Grab them. Matches. Also good to have. I'll grab the dish towel. Yeah, clean that rag. Very nice. Alright. I'm not feeling optimistic about this one, boys. So, you really, you probably don't want to be in the commercial districts. Yeah. Some zombie has already seen me. Okay, so that's... Yeah, okay. I don't know where I am. I could see the uh, trailer park. Not quite sure where I am in relation to the trailer park, and I wouldn't want to go back to the trailer park, honestly. Locked. Yeah, this is a bad, this is a bad place to be. Only see one so far. Oh. Oh man, a grocery store. Sure, I feel that much better at uh. Not sure I feel that much better at uh, fighting with a short blunt weapon. Oh, it's unlocked. Shit. Okay, this is uh this is really nice actually. <laughs> let's uh let's not eat a let's not eat an onion. Bags, cans of peaches, a, an entire sack of apples, sack of cherries, sack of peaches. And all of this is gonna go bad before I can get back to it, but I will uh, I will try to remember where it is. Right now it's probably not what I'm after. Um you know what I will yeah, I will pick up uh we'll pick up some of this canned stuff. Yeah, like canned corned beef, yeah. And chili, sure. Yeah, canned spaghetti bolognese, sure. Um, and then, yeah, just sort of transfer this all into my, uh... We'll put, 
We'll put the bleach in there with the rest of the food. That couldn't go wrong. So yeah, we're just gonna kind of have a... Uh... Sheets. Not that over encumbered, am I? Canned corned beef, I suppose it beats the zombie flambe, just barely, just barely. What, because I'm drowsy? Uh, yeah, is there maybe like, uh, is there maybe some soda or something I could eat to, uh... So I really would like to be able to, uh, carry a lot more than this. Lard, margarine, processed cheese, remoulade, mmm. Chili corn, fruit cocktail, sardines, mac and cheese, tea bag. You know what? Eat it all, buddy. Surely, surely the tea, uh... Okay, no sink, huh? We'd really think, oh, sunflower seeds, tortilla chips. Plastic bags. Yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back for this. 49 cents. Food. The food prices are the most fantastical thing about this game. Once again, we seem to be having the problem with... Uh, there is a ton of uh, great canned food around and not a can opener in sight. Money is now junk. It's a shame. I like money. Right. I'm actually kind of surprised at the uh, lack of zombies so far. Here's a here's a sink. All right. All right. What's, uh, what's weighing me down so much, I wonder? Oh, it's all the beer bottles. Um... I don't need beer bottles, I got heavier stuff. Anyone leave their laundry in the wash? Doesn't look like it. What's in the trash can? Another garbage bag? Always good to have. More bleach. Got some uh, dirty rags. Ripped sheets. Box of nails. Ooh. And a tarp. Fuck. This is some really good stuff, actually. Um, some really good stuff. Um, okay. Cool. Look, my encumbrance is now 20. Oh, I see. I see. I see how it is. Alright, um... I really would like to find, like, a residential area, uh, somewhere nearby, perhaps? So the 20 was how much my garbage bag could carry, it wasn't how much I can carry, which uh, of course is considerably less. Uh, 
Are you fucking serious? That's a laceration, so... We might not die? We'll see. That was fucking... That was garbage. Absolute garbage. Alright. This looks like a... This looks like it might be a hardware store or something. Can maybe, uh, maybe get something cool in here. Alright, what do we got? We got a lot of, got a lot of crazy stuff. Oh, you tech port a disc. A video game. Got some food. Broccoli seeds. A rake. Oh, there's like farming equipment here. A pickaxe. Limited impact when used one handed, repaired never. Uh huh. Got like a rake. A trowel. Got some mustard and peanut butter and vinegar. Oh, ooh. Why don't you drink the juice box? Juice box takes the pain away. Sip, sip. Mechanics Volume 2. Very, very good to have. Um, also more wrenches. Uh, I think I will grab that. Heavy load, movement speed reduced. That's, that's a problem. That's a real problem. Maybe there's a backpack somewhere in this store. That would be... That would be really cool if there was. Sleeve t-shirt. Lumberjack shirt. And pants, shell suit trousers. Doesn't look like we're going to look into a backpack here. And that's unfortunate. Empty watering can, wow. A garden, oh fuck, there's so much good here. There's so much good stuff. Oh my god, okay, we're gonna have to come back. That hurts, that actually like hurts, seeing all of this great stuff. But I really can't pick up. The candy, there's a sheet, there's VHS, fuck me. Alcohol wipes, yeah, that's... I can't ignore those. Bandages are pretty good, too. Uh, burst of energy when taken. Empty gas can, mechanics volume one. Okay, so... I don't have any mechanics skills, so there's no point in me having volume two right at the moment. There's a sheet. Uh, sheets can be used as uh, makeshift uh, curtains, obviously. Right. Dish towel, point three. Used to dry self when wet, always know where your towel is. Nah, I don't need that. Sheets. Sheet weighs a little bit, so we'll put it in the garbage bag. Wrench, 0.7, it's 1.0 unequipped. Ooh. It's probably better to just have that equipped than carrying it around in the garbage bag. Alright, we're gonna have to, uh. Gonna have to give something up here. The red wine weighs 2. The wine is pretty heavy. The wine is actually... If we got rid of the wine, we would be unencumbered, I think. Much as I hate to lose it. Still got like a pound to lose. <sighs> Alright. Let's 
So I need to find a base nearby and I need to come back for this stuff because this is amazing. I'm kind of... Can always come back for non-perishables, exactly. I'm kind of going back and forth on whether I want to run the pickaxe as my weapon. It's in your head, in your head. Zombie, zombie, zombie! Alright. I think I pulled. Is it just those two I pulled? Alright. Can handle this with my pro pro combat skills. Watch this. Oh yeah. Have a nice afterlife. Looks like I just pulled that one. I don't think any of the ones in the field saw me. Satisfying hearing the sounds of bones being crunched, isn't it? Oh, God! Fucking damn it. Yep, that's a bite. Fuck! <laughs> uh. So yeah, the combat in this game is a it's a it's a skill you have to uh, cultivate. So this is actually this was a really interesting start that we pissed away. Yeah, now really nothing for it but to kill as many as we can. Right. Change the bandage on my forearm here. Can I... What if I were to disinfect this, I wonder, like, real quick? Yeah, take the alcohol uh, alcohol wipes to it. That did nothing. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck you! What I get for doing this out in the open, I guess. What the bourbon? Maybe the bleach. Um, we will uh, we will do the bleach uh, pretty soon. We will apply the bleach to the problem. So what I'd like to do with the time I have left is uh, try and uh, locate a uh, try and locate some sort of residential area that goes along with this. Actually, hold on a sec. Does this lead us straight into the? Uh, does this lead us straight into the trailer park? Discomfort. Something doesn't feel right. Yeah, no shit. Does this lead us directly to the trailer park? Huh. 
I think this might lead us straight to the trailer park. It, it would be nice if there was more of a you are here marker, or maybe I'm just missing it, but um, yeah. Rosie, peckish, discomfort, pain. Alright. Alright, why don't I, uh... Why don't I drink some beer? So there's this road here. So, like, judging, judging from where it puts me when I pull the, uh... Kind of wondering if we're like right here and if maybe the trailer park is like just over in this direction all right where am i uh where are the dirty sheets I'm gonna drop the dirty rags, I have enough. That'll put me just under. Oh, well, we have company. Nothing cool on him. Very tired, awareness severely reduced. Well, I will uh, try to locate a bed. I wonder if that was like the... Was this the forest path that I was on? Oh, hey. Even if you're screwed, it's good to practice combat. There we go. Oh, the street lights came on. Ideally, if I could hold my ground on top of some of these, that would be cool. You're also backing into another group. That is a really good point. I'm just too tired to do real damage. Oh, that's one dead. That's another. Ah, boo. Would you fuck off? Alright, how bad is it? Only, only a couple of scratches, which is surprising. Stop the bleeding. Oh, police trooper stuff. Oh, a nightstick! And a bulletproof vest. Yeah, we're gonna definitely go with that. 
Uh, Nightstick's a very nice weapon, if I recall. Um, we'll probably just drop the pipe, pipe wrench. Ridiculously tired. So tired, so desperately and humanly tired. Um, I do have the vitamins in my inventory, which might be something I need to use if I, uh... Oh, boy. Just don't look back. If you don't look back, they can't see you. That's how it works. Don't try to tell me otherwise. That's how it works. Moderate exertion. See? Okay. Fuck me. So yeah, if we've been a little sneakier, looks like we're in some residential area where, uh, I might have been able to work, but, uh, yeah, this is, uh, it's not going to end well. Oh god, please be unlocked. Nope. Oh god, and there's a big, big horde of them. Well, fuck you in particular. sitting down on the job. Okay. <laughs> Slight panic. Hmm. Alright, I might be able to, uh, might be able to go into one of the businesses here and sort of lose them. That's what I'm thinking. Hello! Hello Kitty is emo. I always figured her more for goth, but, uh, good to see you. I think, I think my dude is about to pass out. Um, yeah, they're still after me. So I'm thinking maybe I can lose them in the in the businesses here. Um, after that, I'll probably uh, take some vitamins to try and keep myself awake. Um, and then we sort of need to try and sneak in to uh, into that house so we can find a bed. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna go in here, and we're gonna leave out the back door, and hopefully... Hopefully that will be enough to get them off our trail. Okay. I have some vitamins, I think. I'm gonna do those now. Did I pick up the vitamins? I picked up the vitamins, nice. Take pills. Give me a little bit of energy, perhaps. Take more. Take a megadose. What could go wrong? <coughs> All right. You know what? They're not coming in the, uh... They're not coming in the store, so maybe I just sleep on the ground. Feeling a little queasy. So yeah, we are definitely infected. We are going to be turning into a, uh, into a zombie soon. change the bandages we'll try to make this as comfortable as possible and I really would like to uh, like to get some eyes on that house that we found um, can I like if it's just uh, scratched and infected maybe no okay okay remove that bandage yeah just bitten Yeah, also infected. Uh, maybe the bourbon? Nope. 
Man, that's really, really unfortunate. We found a nightstick. We found a bulletproof vest. There's a lot of great stuff. We, we, we spawned in the, near the store, which has some cool stuff. And yeah, just uh, didn't handle the combat right. Oh. Okay. Hug the wall. Now they're breaking into the store. That's unfortunate. But maybe that will keep them occupied enough for them to lose interest in me. Oh, that looks like... No, uh, I thought it was a cop. Ah. Nightstick freaking slaps. Well, actually, it's more of a smack than a slap, but, you know. Ideally, ideally, uh, let me eat something. Do I have anything to eat? I have some bleach. I could always drink that. Yeah, let's let's eat the let's eat half a can of peanut butter. And just hope that nothing is creeping up on us. All right. See, I really want to get to those houses. I really want to kind of check them out and see. Because this is the makings of a really strong base here. Like, if we can fully loot that uh, hardware store, and there's the uh, grocery store as well for some food. Um, yeah, this could be a really strong base if it wasn't overrun by zombies. Which, you know, something I'll be saying again and again this game. Alright. Just those two, we can probably take them. We'll just, uh, we'll go in this direction. Actually, do you have a, you have a gun on you? Oh, you are a cop. Okay. You might have some really good stuff. Oh, surprise! <laughs> run, 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 run! Oh, okay. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> Alright, let's try one more one more character. One more character. Uh we'll stick with Riverside. Yep, you're bleep. You are correct. Axe Carpentry Foraging. Huh. What if Alright, I'm thinking. What are some of the best? Athletic and strong. Four strength, increased carrying weight. Alright, what if I do this? Four fitness, four strength. I would need to take a lot of really bad drawbacks to make it work, but, um, alright. Chad doesn't need to be that smart. He can be a slow reader. to becoming panicked. Yeah, okay, we're just gonna make the Giga Chad. We're gonna make the Giga Chad. Try the cop. Um, so the cop's eye, uh, the problem with guns in this game, and he is entirely built around, uh, using guns. Problem with guns in this game is, uh, the sound attracts zombies. So, if you are, if you're going to be using guns, you need to be prepared to gun down an entire horde or have some, uh, have some means of dealing with it. So, um, yeah, I'm not, a 
not actually super, uh, super stoked on the cop. So we're gonna make a, we're gonna make a Giga Chad here. Um, let's see. Random, random, we'll keep going. Oh! Oh, oh yeah, okay, here we are. I found the Giga Chad. Doesn't he start with baton? Ah, uh, that's a good question. That's a good question, actually. Okay. Um, this is an interesting place to start. Empty notebook, we have twine, we have a wire, and a word search magazine. Good to have. The rest, not so much. But no, a lot of times, it's surprising, a lot of times, like, the professions don't start with stuff relevant to their, like, profession. Like you saw with the lumberjack, I didn't have an axe, you know? And the axe is, uh, what I needed. Okay, yeah, we've, uh, we've got the unemployed, uh, lifestyle going on here. Yep, yep, that's about right. What are you sleeping on? Do you just, like, push the two plastic lawn chairs together and sleep on them? That's, uh, that's intense, dude. Okay, no food. Yeah. Chainsaw would be good. Chainsaw would be absolutely divine. But of course, then you run into the uh, issue of, uh, where do you get the gas to keep it running? Gas station surprisingly. Oh, okay. We're squatting in a uh, in a for sale house. I see how it is. Give me a garbage bag. Katana would be good too. Holg Molly. Hello. Wag. Yes, a katana would be good too. There are katanas in the game. Oh, hello. All right, straight into it. All right, we got. Oh. We got four points of strength for a reason, but I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to get into this just yet. All right. Here's hoping for no burglary alarms. Nope. There's a guy in there, anyways. All right. You know what? <laughs> wow, this went to shit quickly. Okay. Like, really quickly. I'm actually surprised at how quickly this went to shit. Okay, go, go, go. Yeah, Katana would be cool. I think Katana has its own skill. There's like a long blade skill or something. So, um, and, and yeah, like Katana is one of the few ones that qualify. So it's like the one downside of the Katana. Okay. We're leaving. Okay. This might be one way to sort of put him off our scent a little bit. So yeah, they'll all climb through the window and sort of slow down that way. I am just... I am impressed at how quickly this went to shit. There are some starts like that. This does not really seem to be one of them, though. Like, the trailer park start is always a bad one. Come on. Cool. Alright, we are going to rip all the clothing we can. Fork, he had a gold necklace. Ooh, a leather jacket. We will uh, we will wear that. A watch? Yes. Put on the left wrist. Do you wear your watches on your left wrist or your right wrist? I'm 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 a lefty for sure.
Cool. All right. I don't immediately... Th oh, there's a dead thing in there. I wonder if it's going to come to life if we open the door. Why don't we go through this window, just in case. Okay, Chad just broke the window, wonderful. Oh, nice hat, I'll take it. Kentucky baseball cap. Visor backwards, of course. Chad's a cool guy. Yeah, the, there are katanas in this game, super rare. And yeah, I'm trying to remember... Let's see. Or, you have a look at the uh, skills. Whoops. There is a... Yeah, a long blade skill. And the katana is one of the only weapons that qualifies there. So yeah, you kind of have to uh, build up your skill with the katana from base. Oh. In fact, I'm trying to remember if there are any other weapons that qualify as long blades, or if it's just the katana. Alright, close the window. Close the curtains. Are you are you dead, sir? Oh, Louisville map. Silver next looks with crucifix. Oh, uh, sorry, ma'am. An empty bottle, yeah. Alright, you know what? We will rip all of the clothing. A can opener! Holy shit. Okay, a can opener and actually a lot of good food here, so maybe we just make this the base for the time being. Yeah, let's eat that pear now. Um, could grab... Let's see. The griddle pan is in better condition, so I think we will uh, run around with that griddle pan for now. Griddles are nice and heavy, you know? Good cooking magazine, volume 2, a magazine, there's mechanics, there's pens. It's good stuff. So let me put my uh, word search magazine on here. There's a radio. Excellent. First aid, volume three. This is a nice house. This is a very nice house to, to kind of luck into. All right. Close the curtains. Uh, for the body. All right. So we're just going to dump the body here. Where is the body? Why, uh... Excuse me? Um... I would really love to know where the, uh, where the body I'm carrying around went. Oh, corpse. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay, you know what? We'll, uh... Just kind of move a little bit away from the house and drop you there. Wonderful. Didn't I have you... Oh, fuck. Okay, so... Someone's trying to... Hello! Come here. You got nothing. Oh, you know what? 
giving the house a nice little paint job here. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay. Well, I'll let that serve as a lesson to you. Okay, so yeah, we will uh, close the curtains here. This is this is really nice. All of the windows have curtains, so I think I just need to find. I think I just need to find some curtains for the uh, door, and we're in good shape. Yeah, very nice. A flight case. Ooh. It's honestly not a... Honestly, my garbage bag is better. But yeah. Let's put a... Um, put the ripped sheets in the container. We'll take like uh For we'll take five ripped sheets. If I'm more beaten up than that, we uh, we probably have larger issues. And then I have nine dirty rags too. So let's uh, yeah, let's clean all the dirty rags. Hmm. The only thing is, it would be nice to have a TV. I'm sure one of the neighbors has a TV. We could go and uh, we could go and uh, reappropriate. Oh yeah, reminds me. Let me fill my empty bottle. All right, Chad. Time for looting. So that's that's where we started. That's a bunch of zombies. Hmm. Hopefully no zombie dogs. Oh. Okay, two in the backyard here. Three. Okay. We're going to be really careful. We're going to close the windows. Or, sorry, close the curtains so that the zombies out back don't see us. Cool. Alright, what do we got? Ooh, fresh bologna. Needs to be sliced before addition to most recipes. Makes sense. Loot all. Ice cream and steak. I don't know if we actually have a freezer at the, uh, the other house. Kitchen tongs and a spatula. Another can opener. Now, now we're finding all the can openers, right? Good Cooking Magazine Volume 1. Yeah, we'll grab that for sure. Nice bandage, beta blocker. Some tweezers are, uh, actually could be helpful. Yeah, the makeup, toothbrush, toothpaste, we don't really care about. You don't need good teeth, it's the apocalypse. The zombies will kill you long before the gingivitis does. Eh, you know what? I'll eat half the, uh, I'll eat half the ice cream. Oh, okay. So yeah, Louisville is like the, uh, Louisville's the big, <laughs> Louisville's the big time, obviously swarming with zombies. Um, oh, you know what? Actually going to steal these two curtains. So yeah, this house is a good starting base. Uh, eventually you want to like build like an actual wall around a house. And I don't know that this is the best place to do it. 
Because there are some really upscale, like, suburban neighborhoods that have the tall fences. And uh, those are perfect uh, for uh, keeping zombies and unwanted Karens out. And being real about it, who actually wants a Karen? Red trunks and shoes. Okay. So actually, oh yeah, actually, no, there are, I don't need any curtains. How about that? Because there's no window on the door. Good shit. Alright, well, in that case, sheets can go in the cabinet. Uh, thread can also go in the cabinet. Then we'll sort of just have, like, a uh, medicine cabinet going here somewhere? Nope, nope, no medicine cabinet in the bathroom. That's a little unfortunate. Um, in that case, under the sink is going to be our medicine cabinet. Oh yeah, tweezers. And maybe, like... sheets. I like it. Oh, there is a, there is a freezer. Okay, cool. Okay, put you in the fridge, put you in the fridge, put the pickles in the fridge. Wonderful. Starting to get a little dark, but I'm not uh, too worn out yet. So let's continue our uh, let's continue our looting adventure, shall we? Okay, I think there's another one behind the tree that's also coming for us, but we just don't see him yet. Maybe not. Nothing too cool. Yeah, he didn't notice us. Or she, that looks like a dress. Yeah. The hat says KY because you're about to get fucked. Kind of looks like Fred Durst, actually. All right, Limp Biscuit in the apocalypse. Let's go. That um, that taxi actually looks to be in pretty good condition. Oh, one of the windows is broken. So yeah, zombie probably is in here somewhere. Strawberry blonde hair dye. I already have tweezers. Oh, I hear uh, I hear the zombie out there. Maybe he's yeah, he's probably by the shed. I swear we will take all of this. This is all good. <laughs> and I think. If you can drive to a hardware store, you can maybe get a machete. Ooh. So the cars are just decorations. Um, not always, not always. Usually, but not always. All right, I forget. You have to do something. You have to do something a little arcane to uh, pick up the uh, television. It's like, I don't want to disassemble the TV. Oh, 
I want to pick you up. I forget how to do it. All right. Yeah, you can uh, you can search uh, the area for stuff, but all right, baking tray, roasting pan, saucepan, a lot of good stuff. What you got in the fridge? Oh, you got a lot of stuff in the fridge. All right, let's uh, take it all. Mixed vegetables and some steak. Cool. Loot all. Cereal, coffee, canned evaporated milk. Gimme. Um, some of this might actually be good for cooking. Yeah, maybe we grab the saucepan and like the roasting pan. Tongs, perhaps. I don't remember if I have tongs. Pretty sure I don't have a kettle either. And maybe a baking tray. Or two. Yeah, he's out by the shed. Comb in a gun case. All right, we'll uh, just put you in the garbage bag for now, but we'll uh, probably check you out. Got a roasting pan, get the saucepan in the garbage bag. And I think we go out and we deal with the Mr. Zombie. No, that, that car looks suspiciously like it might not just be for decoration. So, yeah, we're going to take out the zombie and then we're going to have a look at the uh, cab here. Yeah. His legs don't work too good. Scissors. Um, scissors might be good to have, actually. Okay. What we got? Ball peen hammer, two metal bars, some scrap metal, a screwdriver, all very good stuff. Got some saw, got some I got a saw, got some wood glue. Very, very good. Very good. Okay, we're probably gonna have to come back for most of this, but um all of this is desirable. Alright, and let's have a look at this car, see what we're dealing with here. Cause yeah, it looks to be in fantastic condition. Uh, yeah. uh, vehicle mechanics, what we got? Oh, it's in good condition! Alright, uh, gas tank has 69% remaining. So we just, we either need to hotwire it or we need to find some keys. Wow, it's been... Yeah, you rarely, you rarely find a, a car that's not just for show. Um, I want to smash the window. Can I just, like, try to open it? All right, well, smashing a window sucks because it's going to attract zombies. Yeah, this is, this is the luckiest thing the whole stream, actually, finding a car that's in, it's in decent shape. Left battery's good, engine's good. All right. 
So yeah, might be a matter of uh, investigating this house a little bit more, or maybe one of the zombies nearby has the uh, keys on him. Could also check out the trunk, I suppose. Yeah. Well, that's how you... Okay, let's try the driver's side. It looks locked, but let's try the driver's side. Keys can also spawn on the ground near the car. Would I, do, would I need to do, like, an investigate for that? Yeah. Okay. And you're and you're in your own little world while you're searching. Completely oblivious to any zombies rolling up on you. All right, probably best to do this in uh, in the daytime. Uh, this is really cool though. This is really cool. Um, so yeah, we'll probably search this house a little more thoroughly tomorrow. And check some of the zombies around. See if one of them perhaps has has the keys on them. All right. You know, things could have gone so much worse. Cereal, the coffee, the evaporated milk in the container. We have a whole bunch of stuff for the fridge. Container fridge, put in the fridge. Uh, mixed vegetables, probably need to go in the freezer, which I noticed I, I do actually have. Yeah. Let's see what else. Yep, steak needs to go in the freezer. This stuff can go in the fridge. Mmm, orange soda. Delicious. And then, yeah. Um. So I have, like, my first aid cupboard. Uh. And you know what? I think we're gonna put. Gonna put our baking supplies in there, too. Tongues, what else? Yeah, maybe some scissors. <laughs> the the griddle pan unfortunately still needs to be pressed into service. Alright. So put all this stuff on the shelves. And what's what's in my garbage bag? Oh, right, 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 right. And then I had the uh... saucepan and the roasting pan. <laughs> All right, and let's see what we got in this gun case. Uh, from the looks of it, we might have a uh, pay dirt here. All right. All right, what's what's in the gun case? Open her up. Is there anything in the gun case? Yeah, okay. Oh, baby! So we got an M1911 pistol, an M1911 magazine, and a box of 45 ACP rounds. Holy shit, this is a lucky spawn. What 
it's not not favorite unpack all right so how many uh, how many in a box we're we talking like 20 and then this just put you in the container for now all right um no bullets found Open box. Aha. 30, 40, 5 auto rounds. M1911 is GI45. Yes, it is. All right. Um, insert seven bullets in magazine. Insert magazine. And we have a 1911. Fuck yeah. All right. You know what? You are going to be my, uh, you are going to be my gun cabinet now. Equippable with a silencer. Oh, the, M the M1911 is, uh, equippable with anything. It's an amazing gun. Okay, you are going to be my gun cabinet. The English have the longbow. The, uh, Japanese have the katana. America has the M1911. Here's some zombos out there. Hopefully nothing comes of that. <laughs> well, sounds like something came of it, but not for us. Alright. Um... Open the canned peaches. Stop having them be closed. I think I'm not going to like what I see when I open these curtains. Yep. Really? Well, he's going... He's going to break through the door eventually, so probably best... No, open the window. You're on the inside! All right. Hi. No, I do not have any time to talk about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you. Where is the corpse? Drop you. Uh, oh, you know what? I'll attach that screwdriver to my belt. Oh, and I need to... I guess when you pick up the corpse, you... Uh... <gasps> oh, no, that's my key ring. Okay. I thought I... That was quite a noise I just made. Um, yeah, I thought that was the uh, car key. So yeah, we are going to... Uh, well, we're going to search all of these corpses and make sure the key isn't on one of them. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so yeah, let's uh let's search this house a little more thoroughly. Oh god, of course there are more zombies around. 
I think I got most everything, but, uh... I guess I could try, like, the, uh, garbage cans and stuff near there. It's a possibility. I don't regret making the Giga Chad yet. I certainly don't regret that. Oh, clip on tie. Hmm. Yeah, let me check. Yeah. Okay, so the keys. This, this guy looks kind of. Both of these guys look kind of muscular, actually. That's a problem. Could you? Could you not? Like getting wrecked by a horde is okay. It's understandable if you if you have an unfortunate uh uh okay scratched in last duration, so I might not be totally screwed. We'll see. We'll see if it gets infected. Got wrecked by two zombies. Ain't no excuse for it. All right. Tin can, smash bottle. Okay, so not in the garbage bags. Not on these guys. Have I checked these guys yet? I guess I should. Alright, I eat the rest of the peaches, would ya? Okay, nope, not on these guys. Right, I already checked these guys. Oh, here we go. That's how you pick up the TV. That button there. Uh, okay, it wasn't in here, I'm, I'm almost certain. There was a lot of good stuff in here. Uh, the ball peen hammer's not in great shape. Got some metal bars. Yeah, we got some cool metalworking stuff, actually. And, and a saw, which is very important. Actually, I think I'm going to grab the saw right away before I forget about it. Alright, yeah, let's try and do, uh, let's try and do some more, uh, search. See if we can maybe spot the keys. Like, the other possibility is, I guess, maybe break a window. Because, uh, everyone sees how well I deal with, uh, you know, deal with zombies in my face. Uh-oh. What? What? What's the problem? Well, there's another car that looks to be in pretty good shape, actually. Alright. Two Louisville maps and a rubber band. No keys from the looks of it. Okay. Key might be in the ignition. Really? Seriously. Like, unlock the doors, dude. It's 1990-something. There are no... There are no power locks or anything. Okay. Gonna be real with you, Chief. I have never actually, like, uh, driven in this game. Driver's seat. Um, 
How would I even check if the keys are in the ignition? How do I do anything? Actually, was I even sitting in the driver's seat? Okay, it all driver's seat. Huh. I think I'm sitting in the <laughs> I think I'm sitting in the passenger seat right now. I heart walk and rolls. Mm, me too. Okay. Is there like a can't recall how to swap seats. Uh yeah. Well, that makes two of us. Um, let's see. I'm guessing it's some keybind. Alright, well, let's, uh... Let's see what we got here. Combat vehicle. Start vehicle engine N. Horn is Q, switch C to Z. Okay. Vehicle headlights is F, vehicle info is U. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I want. That's not what I wanted you to do. Yeah. Driver. Door locks. Okay, turn those off. No key for this car found. Okay. Unfortunate. But you know, there's another pretty decent looking car over there. At this house, so maybe. Kind of looks like Homer Simpson's car, actually. Creeping around at least one. Always have to keep that in mind. Okay. So vehicle locks are engaged. I'll either need to find the key or, well, let's even see if this is worth stealing. This is also in pretty decent shape. Um, yeah, 94% remaining in the gas tank. Okay. So yeah, if we can find, uh, if we can find the key for this one, that would be, also be awesome. Let's try the house. I really like the work they did with the blood splatter on walls. That's um that's some fantastic stuff. Okay. No alarms, that's always a good start. Right, pen blue, pen red. Cooking volume one and farming volume three. Uh cooking volume one very worth reading. Okay, that's an interesting room. Crossword magazine, gimme. Actually, take I'll take all of this. Hmm. You know what? I think I might steal this TV. Ah, yes, the empty closet everyone has. Eh. Could find something to put in there, I'm sure. Yeah, you know what? I'll eat this apple right away. Processed cheese and some butter. I am the butter lord. A book. Wonderful. 
Ice cream. Yeah, give me all. A hand torch. Oh, that kind of torch. Freaking, freaking English people. Good to have. So wait. Okay, you call this one a flashlight? Remember to bring it back before it melts. Yes, thank you. Yes, I will probably... Unless I find the uh, car keys and go on a joyride, I'll probably be heading right back to my house. And it doesn't look like the car keys are anywhere to be found in a... Uh... Coleman Mirror. Okay, a... Oh, baby! <laughs> That's what we've been waiting for! <laughs> oh, baby. That's just where keys go, you know? Yep, yep, in your medicine cabinet. All right. Engine status. Put key in ignition. Start the engine. <laughs> oh. Oh. Kentucky just got more dangerous for everyone, myself included. Alright. So... Oh, it's not dead. Alright, well. Give him another one. There we go. So, I wanna... Oh, yeah. I think that'll work. Oh, hey. There was a welcoming party for me at my house. Come on. So I guess you have to actually, like, drive over their heads. Understandable. Oh, nice. You run over their legs, they turn into crawlers. Keep in mind that all impacts do accumulate damage to your vehicle. Very good to know. This is why we affix blades to the front, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a little underwhelmed with my vehic vehicular zombie slaughter experience so far. Oh yeah, the check engine light just came on. How about that? Very nice. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess I should take the key out of the ignition, huh? 
There we go. Back in time to put the ice cream in the freezer. Cheese in the fridge here. Uh, what else? Flashlight and a hand torch. Hand torch is a lot lighter, so we'll probably carry that one around and keep the flashlight for emergencies. Um, I need more. I need more storage solutions here. We'll, uh. you in there um yeah i need to i need to like bring some boxes in or something this paper um yeah the wood glue and the saw I re yeah i really want like a, a separate you know what, we can put them in with the, uh, yeah. We'll put them in with the cooking supplies for now, just until I come up with a better solution. Oh, and the pencil can... go on the shelf. There we go, along with the word search magazine. Very good. Minor pain. Yeah, okay. Let's see if we're infected. Yep, we, we sure appear to be. From the scratch, too, which is like the lowest percentage. Alright, I want to see what state the, uh, the car is in. Well, but not before I deal with you, I guess. I lost my baseball cap, so I guess I'll uh, take one from you. Cool. Kentucky. The car is in Kentucky. Yep. Yeah. I... Thank you. Unrivaled insight. Um, no. I want to... I want to check out the car. Will you let me... Yeah, vehicle mechanics. Let's see, uh, let's see how much damage we did with our little joyride here. <laughs> yeah. Engine is... Hey, engine is, like, condition 87% still. The hood's a little dinged up, but, you know... Like, the suspension's alright. The suspension's doing better than I thought it would be, honestly. Yeah, gas tank's fine, muffler's fine. It's fine. Um, what do I wanna? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna eat some ice cream. Eat my sorrows away here. Well, that was a uh, that was a very productive day, I must say. A little oh, okay. Oh, that's, that's where those stores were. And actually, I might be really close. Is this me? This is me. Ah, I see. So I'm really close to those stores, actually. This was the, uh, this was the house we saw on the last guy before I died. I'm pretty sure. 
So I might actually be able to drive down to the hardware store. We'll maybe do that tomorrow. Um, I really kind of wish I had some disinfectant. Yeah, if we're going down to the hardware store, I'll probably take the, uh, the pistol with me. And, you know what, let's just, uh, let's sleep right now. not so much in pain. Might have might have gotten out of this actually. I wonder if it was just like a normal infection, not the zombie. It was just a normal infection and I got over it. Or not. Now this is infected. Sure. Bandaged. All right. Let's see. Yeah, clean all the rags I used. Does this look infected to you, you know? Love doesn't mean never having to say, I'm sorry. Love means being able to say, does this look infected to you and your partner not being freaked out. That's some uh, free love advice from the love console. Sounds like they're breaking down a door. Oh yeah, it's one of the doors in this house. Hello. Oh, fuck off! Scratched, laceration, bleeding, infected. Okay. Why are you making such a racket at this hour? If only I could do this to my neighbors in real life. Yeah, make it slow. Make it slow. Probably because it didn't have anywhere to fall. <laughs> Red stale. Oh, wonderful. Okay, we will definitely grab the cereal, the fruit jam, and the honey. Those are all going to stay good. You become the very Karen you swore to destroy. <laughs> you were supposed to destroy the Karens, not join them! Saucepan with pasta, stale, uncooked. Interesting. Ooh, soap. Soap is good to have.
Denim hmm. shorts and some socks and a hoodie. Alright. Not a terribly exciting house, honestly. Oh. Except for our zombie friend, but every little bit helps. So probably... Put all this stuff in, uh, in the garbage bag for now. Uh, I really probably should keep the uh, car key like somewhere else, like just keep it somewhere in the house. Um, just so that if I die, because the cool thing about Zomboid is that when you die, like, uh, the world persists and you can actually encounter your old characters as zombies. So, uh, yeah, when I die, if I can get back there, I can have a, have a decent car as well as my stockpile. Okay. Yeah, I think this might... Oh, fuck. Oh, there's more of them. Okay, how many? Is it just these two? Okay, come the fuck on! This is why melee is a little bit of a bummer. Or a lot of a bummer. Oh, it's a laceration again. Another Louisville map. I guess maybe don't do this at night. Absolutely not on, seriously. I guess maybe don't do this at night would be uh, perhaps the uh, the lesson to take from this uh, this this encounter. But yeah, I think this is I think this might be the shops we were in uh, on the last uh, character. In which case, we may actually find our character. <laughs> Yeah, like across this road here. I'm gonna change the bandage while I'm thinking about it. Ooh, baby. There are some dead zombies here. I think this is where I died. Yeah, you'll find him shambling around. I think I I think I actually will. Cause I'm pretty sure this is where I died last time. Trying to get to those houses over there. Yep, look, there are a bunch of dead zombies. Oh fuck that. This is the place. This is the place. Alright. I'm coming back in the daytime with a car. The other thing I could do is put the pistol to work. That will, of course, bring them all down on me though, so I need to be ready to run. Nice shooting, buddy! <laughs> oh yeah, the griddle pan's in a terrible state, so that's probably a big part of why it's doing nothing. Need to find a better weapon. Uh, no windows here. Uh, zombies there. Huh. 
<laughs> uh, Alright, well. Unequip. Might be better off just fighting them barehanded. You know, just push and stomp. Excuse me? Piano. A piano. Right. Grab the newspaper. Cooking volume two. We're getting a lot of the cooking skill books, actually. That's good. Um, sure. Eat the cabbage. That'll be real satisfying. Clean the uh, bandages we're using. <laughs> how, how how would eating a stick of butter make you unhappy? I ask you. Grill brush, spatula. Got some canned stuff, which we will definitely pick up. <laughs> Even the dog food, I guess. Denim. Ooh. I thought that was a uh, like a cardboard box. I need more storage at my uh, at my house, so I'm kind of on the lookout for like cardboard boxes or something I could easily pick up, sort of use as storage. All right. This is going a lot smoother than uh, than the griddle pan, honestly. I say as I almost get bit. Okay, yeah. Now, now it's time to leave. I really, I really want to survive this and at least see if I can find my old character shambling around. Who's like a bald guy in a black leather jacket. Yeah. Uh, honestly, maybe this isn't the play. This might cause them to bunch up. Yeah, yeah, that's not the play. Come on, break out, break out, buddy, break out. God damn it. Shit, and I had the key for the car on me. Ah, okay, so that means I'll have to have to kill my old character if I want to get that back. Damn it! <laughs> but you know, very possible. He's right by it. Oh, gotta love Zomboid. Gotta love Zomboid. It's 
So, um, I think that's gonna do it for me tonight. Uh, so, thank you all so much for coming out. I will be taking tomorrow off as usual, but then on Friday, gonna be the uh, big, uh, big birthday celebration. So, looking forward to seeing you all there for that. It's gonna be same time as usual, uh, 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time now. Um, but yeah, hope to see you there for that. And until next time. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I have anything else to announce. Nope. And you really gotta break the window like that, dude. The door's open. Um, so yeah. Until next time. I heard this has multiplayer potential. It really does. Yeah. Yeah, this one is, uh, can be very fun with, uh, with, uh, multiplayer. Especially because, like, when one of you dies, the other uh, people can just immediately go over and gank your zombie and get all your stuff back. <laughs> and you just reroll. Um, so, yeah. Yes, this has serious multiplayer potential. Zomboid's awesome. Love it. I don't know why I haven't streamed this sooner. Um, so, yeah. That's gonna do it for me tonight. Hope to see you all on Friday. And until next time, I'm Yuki. I bid you wale. Take very, very good care of yourselves. I'll see you again real soon. Later!